Welcome to another edition of ProSoft Training. In this video we'll be covering the PLX31 MBTCP SIE Gateway. With the gateway plugged into a switch on the local network, we'll open the ProSoft Configuration Builder software. We'll then click on Default Module and select Choose Module Type. We'll select the PLX30 from the Product Line filter and then from the drop down menu we'll choose MBTCP SIE. Now we're going to go ahead and expand the tree and right click on the Ethernet configuration. Go down to configure and here we're going to change the IP address of the module that we're going to download to. So I'm just going to change this to 10.1.2.250 and I'm going to also change the gateway to 10.1.2.1. And we'll just click OK and we'll go up to the module name, right click on it and we'll go to download from PC to device. Now once this is done, we're going to select Browse Devices, and this will launch our ProSoft Discovery service. Um, here we can right-click on the module and go ahead and configure the IP address to the actual module so we can download via Ethernet. And I'll just change it to 10.1.250 as well. And once we're done here, we just click OK and close that out. Now we'll go ahead and download to the destination address, which is 10.1.250. Now we're going to configure the Modbus TCP Client 0. First we'll right click on the Modbus TCP Client 0 and click Configure. And the only thing we're really going to change here is the retry count. We're going to change it to 0. And we're going to go over the MBAP override. What this function does is it changes it from an MBAP message to an encapsulated Modbus message. Um, if you have any other questions, you can read about this more in the manual. Next, we'll click on MBTCP Client Zero Commands. We'll click Add a Row and then Edit that row. We'll enable the command. And we'll change the internal address to read from read to address 3000. Um, we're going to change the register count. We're going to go ahead and read 10 registers. And we're going to, the destination IP address that we're going to read from is going to be 10.1.2.154. Um, slave ID, we'll leave that as 1. Uh, function code 3, read holding registers. And we're going to read from the address of 21 in the target device. Click OK, click OK, and that's it for that command. Next we'll be configuring our SIE Client 0. First we'll expand Client 0, then we'll actually configure the client. So I'm going to double click on the client and the only thing we're going to change here is the retry count to 0 because this default works pretty well. So I'll just go ahead and change the retry count to 0 and select OK. Next we're going to go ahead and configure the SIE Client 0 command. We're going to be adding a row now we'll select Edit Row. First we're going to enable this command. The internal address we'll just leave at address 0. The poll interval also at 0. We will change the registers to be 20 because we're going to write 20 words to our S7300. Now we're going to change the IP address. The IP address is going to be the IP address of the target device. So that is going to be our S7300. We're going to change that to 10.1.2.180. Next we'll select the PLC type. We're going to be using S7300. Next we're going to go over the rack slot and TSAP or TSAP. The TSAP is going to be only used with the S7200 and that's going to be specific to your application. Um, this will be explained in your Siemens documentation or your semantic software. Um, we're just going to leave this default as we're using an S7300. Next we're going to go over our function type, which we're going to be doing a write command. We're going to be transmitting integer data. The address type is going to be a data block in the, in the semantic software. Uh, and the database number and address. This will be all custom to your application. And then we'll just select OK. Once everything is configured, I'll download the configuration to the module again, 
And that will conclude another edition of ProSoft Training. Happy training!